All right, Volvo Velour here. <laughs> Normally, we only work on Volvo cars, but for this case, here's something else. So what's ruined here totally is the poor guy, radiator, and today we're going to replace the poor fucker. to self for people who use anti-rust spray never spray it onto aluminium because then this happens on parts that get heated a lot ik hoef die echt schreeuwen zo nee laat me slapen ik wil niet meer back then shit so this is going to be pretty much straightforward this has got to go the main issue here will be removing all the stuff which is in our way including the fan radiator which we'll have to transfer to the new radiator here's some air ducting we gotta remove so it won't be in our way while replacing this here are also some tubes this video might be also a great reference when we get lost in stuff so now we're gonna let this bitch cool down and afterwards we're gonna pull this poor thing out and replace it with a brand new one why short fixes take a long time <laughs> so we finally got the piece out and now it's draining a lot so I hope we have enough fluid to fill her back up and well otherwise just hoping then some store is open with the same fluid we already have. So you can see this but the cooling liquid is really really dirty so uh, a replacement was in order and I think that's about it. No? Let, let it go fella. What the fuck so while we're working on this, I'm gonna spray every metal metal clamp with some WD-40 so it won't rust up on us when we try to assemble this back together. This is the old part. On the bottom left corner it looks like it's a bit burned and probably also there's a hole somewhere in it and also a lot of Roadkill on the front. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> we bought this aftermarket radiator and it seems like you got this little plug out here, it's probably for the fan. And we had to transfer it from, from the old one. No issue there because it was already threaded. <laughs> Alright, so the new radiator is in. Take a look at that shiny motherfucker. And now we're letting the cooling liquid sit for a bit. And then afterwards, 
trying uh, to make it run and see if the level stays put. We're gonna take a little ride so uh, maybe afterwards we can fill her up some more because there will surely be some air pockets. Alright! Slight drizzle. Belt slip. <laughs> Het naast een zware riem. Oei. Het naast een zware riem en dan heb je. Oh fuck, maat. Zat. <laughs> oh nee. Fuck, ik heb die hem niet nog niet mee. Dat zal chance zijn, want het gaan ze nog stil te vallen. Ik moet een punt gaan drinken, fuck deze. Hier pinkers op. Kindest. Kindest. Die, nou is het genoeg. Ah. Nu, nu. Oh. Verder, verder, verder. Ach, dat is niet erg. We moeten zien dat het tot bij ons thuis komt. Ik moet na het afkoelen ook kennen. Ja, ja, ja. Allee, last, last pull. <laughs> so what happened was we were driving along and eventually the light came on for the cooling liquid and well we were like a few minutes apart from home so uh, it was not really a problem and now we're going to take a look if it's still Ooh. level and it's depleted all the way All right, cigarette time. So this is all we got left. Another test drive. Tire up, matey. We're taking her for a spin. So what we're doing now is, well, what he's doing now is tightening uh, the drive belts because they were a little loose like you heard before. Sounds like a burnout, but it was not. Look at this mint paint job. So we swapped out the radiator. Uh, it's working fine. Even even the fan is, is doing its job. And we have we did a second test ride and no warning lights whatsoever. So I think this guy is back on the road. 